right guys I really hope I'm in focus because it's like the middle of the night and I just wanted to come because I know I said that I was gonna be doing more videos and of course in Chelsea nature I've kind of just not um but it's been a lot going on not really things I want to talk about as of yet but I want to come with the hair update because I just got finished straightening my hair and it's a lot different than previous times that I have straightened it because honestly I used a higher heat than I've used before and I did that because I noticed that I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted and I've never really experienced heat damage and I, I do a lot of deep conditioning and I used a ton of heat protectant because I really just wanted to make sure that it didn't give me damage for the first time ever but I also wanted to get my hair really silky because I just wanted honestly I know it was time for a really good like deep I guess I shouldn't use the word deep. A really good intense trim. Because I haven't really had one of those. I've had like, you know, just standard trims. A little trim here, a little trim there. But I really wanted to give myself a really good trim. So, or go get a really good trim. Because that's what I'm going to do. Well, I don't think I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Maybe I'm in focus now. Well, anyway. Because um, I'm moving. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys lately for my curly hair. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll put the name her somewhere in this area. Uh, and you'll notice that my hair curly has been doing great. So, that's not really why I straightened it. I've been using a lot more protein. I've been putting protein back into my regimen. And that's been working great for me, especially in the winter months. So, I'm back to using my Shea Moisture, which you guys know used to be a staple of mine. And I just kind of fell off of using it and that's what I've been doing really primarily for my hair when it's in its natural curly state and I've been natural now or I transitioned back to natural and I've been fully natural now for three years and two months almost three years and three months so maybe it's three years three months I'm not even sure and so I wanted to show you guys I'll turn and hopefully you guys can see um, you can see, uh, this is my hair. Uh, I really, I'm really pleased with the kind of length that I've been able to retain. I don't really have major issues, like no breakage, things like that. I do struggle a bit with single strand knots, but I think that's just kind of the territory, you know? So... Uh, there's really not been that many changes with my hair that I need to update you guys on. But I knew that it was probably time to just talk a little about my hair because I really haven't. Um, this took me much longer than I thought it was going to take me because I wanted to do a really good deep condition. And I tried some new products. Oh, that's what else I was going to tell you. I have, <clears throat> I guess for the past year been trying new combinations or different combinations with straightening my hair because I do straighten my hair quite often because like I said I've never had issues with heat so well not quite often like every couple of months every few months I'll straighten my hair and I've been trying different products probably for about the last year and I think I finally found like I know I had a video that said I straightened my hair because it's been three years but those aren't necessarily my staple straighten, straightening straightening hair products but I think I've kind of gotten or I know that I've gotten um my straight hair routine exactly how I want it so if you guys want a video on that I know it'll probably be a couple of months down the line because I don't want to just straighten my hair back to back that's something I don't do but if you guys want a video on that then I'll make a video of me straightening it. But if you do want just a video of me showing you the products that I'm using for my curly hair and for my straight hair, then I can do that as well. So just let me know. And I know I get a lot of questions typically and I don't get to respond to everybody. It's usually about what lipstick I'm wearing in my video. So I'm going to try to make a point of telling you what lipsticks I'm wearing as I make the video. This lipstick is actually from the retro matte line that Mac had a few months back and it's called Dangerous. It's not still available. I don't think you can still find it anywhere really. But it's kind of similar to like a Lady Danger kind of. I think that's why they kept like the danger in the name. Um, but yeah, it's called Dangerous. I love it. It's a, it's a deep orange as opposed to the bright red. I just kind of wanted to do an orange today. So 
that's pretty much all that's going on with this her. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram and keep up with me and everything like that. So bye guys.